So before we go to the featured images, uh, we need to talk about the sizes. And most blogs will do well with uh, 1,200 pixels by 628 as uh, size for the featured image. And it, I like this size because this is the same size uh, Facebook uses. So it makes posting your uh, blog on social media actually easy and uh, things will show up the way they are supposed to show. Unlike if you had like a squared image and then uh, Facebook will have to crop some parts of it, which doesn't really look nice. And sometimes if you have text in there, it might take out a uh, uh, very important message that you're trying to put across. So this is the... Uh, image size I would recommend you use for your featured images. And then there's also optimizing. Now, sometimes we have images that are really, really big in size. Uh, let's see if we had to look at that. Uh, okay, this is 24. This is 124 KB. So we can still make this better. We can still reduce the size of it. The smaller in size an image is, the faster it helps in uh, loading your page. And um, so for both uh, user experience and uh, search engine, fast loading pages always help. So I have a free online tool that I use to compress images. It's called tinypng, tinypng.com. And uh, all you have to do is drag and drop your images here. You can uh, convert uh, or compress up to 20 images and a maximum of 5 MB each, okay? So we'll just uh, pick it, the image here, drag and drop it. Yes, so as you can see, it compressed from 127 KB to 39 KB. This is nice, and you've saved up to 69%. Let's download it. Okay, download it. So let's give it the blog post name. Let's put this. Okay, see how it looks like. Great. So as you can see, there's really not much difference between this and the first one. Okay, this is the original, which has a 124 KB. And then this is the optimized one, which is only 38.7 KB. So that's the magic. That's how you optimize images for your blog.